Hello, welcome, or welcome back to Sarah Stitch. So this is a knitting podcast, a um, place where I, Sarah, uh, can talk about my knitting, plans, making, etc. without bothering everyone in my family because no one else knits and they're sick of hearing me talk about it. So I'm talking to you all instead. So um, today is Tuesday, February 7th, before work, yet again. Uh, so actually going to try and make this one concise because I have to go make my lunch still and go to work. Um, but, uh, am I missing anything? I think that's it. Let's get started. So, I have no finished objects this time because <laughs> I've been very busy and I've started new things in between. So, I haven't been working on my old projects and I've started a new project which is fine but I do have a hoe so a half finished object Let me get it out of here I've got a million things in this bag so I finished one of my everyday socks um and this is a homespun house it's the I think it's the November Patreon sock set uh, the main color is Celebration, and the contrast is Christmas Jammies, which is one of Molly's normal Christmas colors, I think. I'm pretty sure. But one is finished. The other one is started, but not got very much progress on it. So that is coming with me to work this week. Um, that is... The sock, the next thing I've semi been working on is this Oslo hat, mostly because it's in the same bag as my sock. Um, this is in Wilbury Fiber in, oh shoot, I looked it up last time and now I can't remember. Can't remember. This beautiful purple. Um, focus. Uh, this is Surrey. This is Barry Merino. And this is the Oslo hat so far. So I've got about an inch and a half, I think. I think it's like six centimeters past um, the pearl bumps. So, and I think I need 10 more centimeters. And then I can start the decreases. So Um, like I said, I haven't been knitting much, but I did start a new project, which I posted on Instagram the other day, and it has been growing very quickly, so we'll show that next. I did do a swatch for it, because swatching, I'm keeping up with it, two swatches in, still going strong, so this is the swatch for it, um... I wound up going down needle size from this because I didn't love how open this was and I don't think it was on gauge either. So this, I'm making a lento um, and this swatch I did on six millimeter needles, which I believe the pattern calls for. I'm knitting mine on five point, I did, went down half a millimeter for everything just so it would tighten up a bit. Uh, and... I'm knitting this out of, surprise, more Woolberry. Um, this is the color Camp Woolberry in Berry Merino. And I think they're showing up, but there's like beautiful little like bits of speckles of like, come on, focus. Like that bright, bright purple, like an orangey rust. And then, oh, I'm not gonna be able to point to it, that like charcoaly color. Beautiful. And it's all like on a like creamy, creamy base. So that is my fingering weight. And then for the Surrey, because Lento is one fingering, one Surrey. Um, and it's supposed to be only take two skeins of fingering, I think, for almost all the sizes or all the sizes. Um, and I only had two skeins of this because I think 
when I got it. I was planning on making a lento, but then I didn't get sorry for it. So I had to get sorry because I really wanted to make this. So the surrey I'm using is this beautiful, oh, my phone's gonna focus in between the hole. Um, it's Kama Rose Monstrala, and I think it's showing up. It's this really pretty beige, but this color is not great, but you can kind of see there's like sparkle all along the thread. This is probably a more accurate color representation, but there is like little bits of glitter all the way through it and it's beautiful. I was very inspired by Tracy and Jody from the Grocery Girls to make a sparkly sweater. So this is how it's going. You're not gonna be able to see it, but I've got like a solid three inches past the underarm. So I will pull it in close so we can focus. This is how it's looking. I'm sorry the lighting's not ideal. As usual, I have my early morning lack of sunlight in my apartment, but this is it. So I'm loving it. And part of the reason I cast this on was to use up my yarn I had, but also Rebecca from the Cry Bay Knitting Podcast and Amy Palco from Meaningful Stitch are hosting a Lento along. It's called Let's Lento. And the Grocery Girls are also having a raglan along. I can't remember what the hashtag is. I think it's like GG raglan along 23 maybe. But this was one of my winter goals for the year. So I'm very glad I'm making this. I love it. And I think it's going to be like a great neutral, but like fun neutral sweater. And I love how the speckles look knit up like... How can you not love that? It's not gonna focus, but like, it's just so, and they're so like random here and there. And with the little bits of sparkle, my heart. So, oh, changes I've made. I went down half a needle size for everything. So I did my ribbing, I think in three and a half millimeters. And then I'm knitting the body and I'm gonna knit the sleeves on five and a half. Excuse me. Mm. Excuse me, coffee time. Yes, five and a half. Um, and then I am doing twisted rib on the neck, on the neck, cuffs, and hem. And the other change I made was I made like an actual raglan stitch so the pattern I think is knit front backs and there's no defined raglan stitch I I don't really love knit front backs because you see the pearl bump from the back of the front back so I was I just changed it to add in a raglan and one raglan stitch and I did make one rights and lefts on either side um just so I didn't see the problem. I think if it was a darker yarn, I wouldn't have cared, but because I could really, really see it, because this is such like a light yarn, everything shows up that I did literally two, and I was like, nope, pulled it back and did this. So I think my stitch count is correct. I'm pretty sure my stitch count is correct, but if not, it's only off by one everywhere. So it's fine. So this is my Lento. And I just realized I did not talk about what I'm wearing. Uh, I am wearing the Aros, Aros, I'm gonna go Aros sweater from Petite Knit. Um, I will stand up to give you a better view. It's knit from Sorella yarn. And I bought all this in spring 2021. Think. This was my second sweater I ever made um, and I went a little overboard on the yarn because I didn't know how to do things otherwise so I still don't I still go overboard on yarn but um, th I think this was her first tonal she did um, I want to say it was spring but this is what it looks like so it's all striped 
and then it has a saddle shoulder and then it goes into um, raglan increases for the arm and oh, let's see if I can get the colors okay I so for oh huh, I never realized that before it's like a twist I twisted my neck band a little bit oops oh well um it's a folded over neck band so apparently I did not sew it up well uh, second sweater <laughs> so uh, colors are succulent, aloe, I think this is Sedona or Dusty Rose, I don't know what the other two are, it should be on my Ravelry, um, the other one's like a, oh, it's gonna get blown out, the purple is like a, eggplanty it's not as black as this and then like a creamy creamy beige uh and for this sweater i held for each stripe i held one fingering and one mohair of the same color all the way through so i have a ton of mohairs left from all of these and i need to figure out what i want to put them in because they're still just sitting here but this is my ass and then okay so next work in progress is my brioche adventure which i'm making from the prosper yarn 2022 advent calendar um i may be misremembering but i'm pretty sure you were able to select what base you wanted and i selected the singles base because i was planning on making a shawl out of it i didn't know what shawl i wanted to make at the time and then finally decided and I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish days left of the advent. So slowly getting there. But these are my seven days left. I don't know why I'm... So I'm in the green neutral territory now. So I will show it to you from the beginning, even though many people have already seen this many times over so here we go let's start i clearly have not woven in many of my ends yet so i think last podcast i was somewhere around here i can't even see um so i have made a little bit of progress and i am now deep in the neutrals and it is beautiful the drape of this is like amazing. Sorry, you can see all of my ends. Um, but like, it's gonna be, I can't even hold both. I know, I think I said this last time, but I can't hold both ends of it in both arms. So it's gonna be like the most squishy, amazing wrap. And, oh gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess up his name again. This is by, I think I said the pattern, Brioche Adventure by, oh, going Jonathan it's either Christopher or Jonathan Jonathan Tallow I'm going Jonathan I think that's wrong but I think it's Jonathan um his Instagram is made by Tallow so last night I just started going into uh, so the whole thing is brioche um and then garter in between and last night I'll show you the right side I guess I just started going into my next color which I believe is day 18, 17. And then, so these are the two colors I'm working with now, if I can find them, oh, okay. So this is the one that has been already used in half of a section. So this is now the main color. Oh, focus, please. Oh, okay. And then this is the new color. That's going to be the contrast color in this section, and then in the next section, it will be the main color be in the front so slowly getting by on this one and I'm loving it I, I honestly think I can get this done this week if I put my mind to it it only takes me about um I want to say like 30 to 45 minutes to do a section from like the start of the brioche through the garter so 
it shouldn't take too, too much longer. The longest, not the longest, but the most tedious task in my eyes is winding the yarn from their adorable baby skeins into cakes. But, so this is my color progression next. So I'll go from oh, this sand, oh, yeah. from the light, the brownier of the two into this dark charcoal and through the greens and the yellows. And then these last two were day 24. So the end of my shawl is gonna have like a cute little Christmas pop on it, which I love. Um, and it's not gonna like stand out too, too much from the other colors cause it'll be on the, um, on the wrong side. So love it. And this came with a few cute little stitch markers. Like I think it came with a wine glass stitch marker and then there's no way I get this to focus. Um, it's like a conch seashell. No, no shot. Beautiful. So, love that. Um, so that's all I've been like knitting, knitting on. My mom's sweater has gotten no love because I'm a terrible daughter and I just can't with the cables right now. So, hopefully I'm able to pick that up in the next few weeks and finish the body. The body is still not finished. I became a little discouraged when I remembered how long my body, or my mom's body she likes. So I've got like double another, like I have to make another, I think I've got like seven inches of the body done and I have to do another seven inches and I don't think it'll ever get done. But that's besides the point. She'll get it hopefully eventually. Um, so I do have a few new acquisitions. I did purchase some. Some were given to me to make things. But, oh goodness. Mm. Sorry. Okay, so first acquisition. I think I mentioned this in my first podcast of the year. Sorry for all of the noise. When we were in Chamonix, there was a yarn store, and my mom wanted, she didn't want, I told her if she really wanted because she has a sweat the sweater I made her last year she associates with Switzerland because it I made her a radari I'll see if I can put a picture up um made her a radari the main color is gray and then it's um a darker blue a lighter blue and a light um like creamy white all out of a homespun house cashmere and she associates that as her Switzerland sweater I think because the top kind of looks like mountains and like a sky so I told her that if she wants a France sweater, I'll make her a France sweater and she can either pick yarn out here or there, whatever. And I told her there was a yarn shop. So we went to the yarn shop and she picked out this, okay, let's see, get color representation first. Okay, this is like probably an accurate color of it. Yeah, it's about right. It didn't focus on me. Oh, nope. Never gonna focus on me, that's fine. Um, and it is Lang Mal Mallow White. I hope that's not backwards. Um, and it is 72% baby alpaca, 6% nylon, and 12% wool. And it's super, super soft and um, like, I don't, nope, not itchy at all. So, um, and it's like a really pretty, like, gray brown heather so the plan for this is to make an ingrid sweater for my mom ideally not as oversized as the one i made because she doesn't like it that oversized but this is let me see if i can find the yardage 50 grams is 190 meters so i think i wound up getting I think I wound up getting 400 grams just to be safe because of the cables and stuff and the Ingrid. Um, I have not swatched with it yet. I think this might be like a little too 
drapey to do an ingrain by itself. So I might get a, a, a mohair or something to hold with it just so it has like a little bit more structural integrity and like, I don't know. It just feels a little thin. But again, I also knit my ingrain at the incorrect gauge. So might just be me. But this is the first yarn I got. Oh, and the color is, don't know if this is the actual color or not, but 877.0026. I don't know. That's what it says. Right there. I'm assuming call is color. Um, this is the first time I've had laying yarns. It's very nice, very soft. Um, it feels great. So I'm sure I will be getting more in the future. But this is the yarn from France. And then I got, I was easily influenced by Alexandra from Alexandra Garn, who's re-knitting re her terrazzo. And I decided I wanted terrazzo because why not? So I scoured the internet for Noro because I wanted the original Noro because Alex, Alexandra's is gorgeous. Petite, 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 Jesus Christ, Petite Knits is gorgeous. And they both use the same main strand of yarn. So the Charles' sweater is made out of Noro Silk Garden Sock Solo and a strand of Isaiah Mohair. So I got the Noro. I literally had to scour the internet for it. It was a late night after a long day at work and I was didn't really care how much I was going to be spending on it. I don't think it wound up being incredibly expensive, but I did check a few different places and then there was, sorry if you can hear the bus. Um, well, there was one place that looked like, I wanna say questionable. There was one yarn store that looked questionable. So I didn't get it from there and then I looked again, the whole thing. But so I have my four skeins of Silk Garden Sock and they're all in the original color, which is Omitama, I think, is the actual name, but um, um, Omitama or Omitaka, I'm not sure which, but the color on the ball band is just S1, I think. Yes, so they're all a little bit different, which I love. And I think this is gonna be my next sweater after I finish the Lento because I'm fickle and I like to cast on all the shiny new things. We'll see. But the Lento is going incredibly fast, so we will see. And th like this has a turtleneck. You gotta use the turtleneck when it's cold outside. I don't know. Just me justifying my actions. <laughs> and to go with the Noro, I got, this is also a petite knit use. Um, I Isair Silk Mohair, and it is 75% Kid Mohair and 25% Silk. And this is the color 6, which is, I think, I don't know what the actual color is, Champagne maybe. So these are going to get held together. And in theory, in actuality, because other people have knit this combo, many other people have knit this combo, um, the mohair is going to just dull down the colors of the Noro and kind of just blend everything together. And it's going to be great. This is my first time using Isaiah mohair and it feels incredible. I don't know why I haven't used it before. I can't remember if it was expensive. I, uh, so I got, I can't remember where, I think I got this from the Little Red Mitten. I'm not sure where it is. I think it might be somewhere in... Ontario. I know I got the Isayer and the Kama Rose Monstrella from the Knitting Loft in Toronto. Um, and I got here very quickly, actually. I think it only took like five or six days to get here, which was crazy. Um, really appreciate that. <laughs> Don't know how they got it here so quick, but um, I will try and see if I can find where I got this. I'm pretty sure it was from, I think it's called the Little Red Mitten. I'm not sure where they're from. I feel like it was somewhere in Canada, though. Oh, God. Oh, excuse me. Um, what time is it? Oh, gosh. Okay, I gotta go. So, 
those are the knitting plans at the moment is finish the lento which i feel like i will have no problem doing because i'm loving working on it right now and my socks and my hats and my and my wrap and then I feel like if I, if I finish, the second I finish the Lento, I'm going to cast on the Terrazzo as of now. Might change my mind. I might do a dear, my Dear Duomo because I do have the yarn caked up for that, but I need to reevaluate the gauge swatch because the gauge, my gauge was a little off. I think I was a little too loose. So maybe I'll do that one next. We'll see. I think they're both on the same size needle, so that's not really a factor, but... I have a million four, four millimeter needles, but I think that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. I'm actually planning on vlogging this week because last week, as soon as I said I'm vlogging this week, I lost my phone. Or two weeks ago, lost my phone. So I was phoneless for five days. Finally have one back, but I'm actually planning on vlogging this week. My lights just went off, which actually means it's time for me to go. And hopefully I will be posting that video next week. Otherwise, I will see you in two weeks. Um, follow me on Instagram. I've been trying to post there more often, usually just like as I'm knitting or like random stuff here and there. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.